welcome to my cooking video. Um, I'm sorry for the close ends. I'm sorry. Weird setup. I know. Uh, I didn't intend for it to be like this. I had a whole thing with the tripod, but whatever. That's neither here nor there. Adapt and overcome, right? I'm still here doing it. Now, <clears throat> gonna start off this video with a quick disclaimer. Thank you for watching, by the way. Uh, this is not... I don't promote underage drinking. Please don't do this if you're underage. 21 and over, please. You know? Uh, yeah. That being said, if you are 20, if you are in the club, welcome. Drink responsibly. Enjoy. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a martini. Easy, right? Amazing. Uh, I do it a little, a little crazy. I know, okay, some people prefer to have uh, their martinis with gin. However, I like mine with vodka. Now today, uh, I'm going to be working with Aristocrat. Okay, not at all my favorite. Not at all my favorite. Um, but it's what we got to do, you know. It's what we got to do. Got to make do with what you got. Uh, so, bam. All you're going to need. Easy. So easy. You're going to need vodka. And you're going to need a, uh, a bottle of green olives. Um, some toothpicks. And, uh, some sriracha. This is just my own little twist. Sriracha's optional. You really don't need it. Can we zoom? Can we zoom? Can we get a good zoom on that? No? Too close? Too dark? What can we, what can we get? Oh, yeah. Uh, lights. Okay. So, what you're going to need is a martini glass or a not martini glass if you don't have one. I do not have one. So, uh, prep work. Chill. Um, so, some people like to have them shaken, and I've done that. I just, I just don't like the extra dishes. Now, excuse me. Uh, this is so difficult. This is a, a tighter lens than I would like to use, but I was having difficulties with the other lens. So, like I said, yeah. So, what you're going to want to do, take your vodka and just, hmm, is this a good shot? Okay. Pour it in. Just pour up. Pour up, you know what I'm saying? Just get it, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, that's probably more than I needed. So, as you can see, there are these lines. This glass particular, in particular, oh fuck, this glass in particular, this glass in particular is very useful, um, because it has these lines right here, and it helps me know when, uh, when I'm, I'm, I've reached the point. Next, what you're going to want to do is pick out as many olives as you'd like. Me, for me, the magic number is six. That's why I got two toothpicks, three a toothpick. So just pick out six olives. Yes, I'm using my hands. Yes, I washed my hands before this video. Look at the Buddha. Oh, is that a gross one? Hello. I'm gonna eat that one. Mmm, mmm. So good. So delish. You may not like them. Me, I can't get enough. enough. I'll just sit there and eat them out of the fridge at night when I'm out of out of martini fuel. If you know what I'm saying. Um, how many is that? I can't fucking count. That's five. I need one more. Come on. Bam, six. Bam, six. Okay, so I. If you probably couldn't have guessed by now, I like a lot of juice. Me, I like a lot of juice. I've only made two. I've only made two with this. You can't see. You can't see, but I've only made two. Look how much juice left. That's like a quarter of the juice right there. So, oh, try not to get any more olives in. If you do, you know, so be it. Just put, oh, is that a lot? This aristocrat 
it's pretty uh pretty hardcore I found so now what you're gonna want to do is skewer skewer your olives doing this one handed is a little bit trickier than using both hands but I'll be okay don't worry about me bam one down bam another one bam another one Bam, another one. Six olives right there, boy. Uh, and then you're just going to want to take the excess juice, pour it in, pour it in. And now, oh boy, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I don't do this. I really don't do this that often, only when I'm feeling crazy. And uh, ain't nothing wrong with getting a little crazy every now and again, so we're going to do it. Just don't, don't. Do not, do not, listen to me, listen to me, you, do not go overboard with this, do not, Buddha, I know you know this, I know I don't gotta tell you, but do not go overboard with this, just ever so little, oh, 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 that should be plenty, one more, one more, that's plenty right there, now I'm missing a very key ingredient, which is a straw, if you're gonna have it stirred, you gotta have a straw, right? So, follow me. Oh, shit. It's very dark. It's very dark. It's very dark. Can you see this? Can you even see? Can you even see? Get a straw. Got your straw? Go back over to your glass. So easy, right? Look at this. And give it a good old stir. That's all you're gonna do is give it a good little stir. Now, me personally, personally, I prefer to let mine uh, marinate for a few. This is gonna be cold for quite some time. Don't go overboard. Go out, buy this drink. It's gonna be about I don't know, uh, six fifty to like fifteen bucks. I don't know. Uh, I am a certified bartender. <clears throat> Interesting fact. And this is how I make my bad boys. This is how I, this is how I get, get down. Yeah? Yeah, you like that? Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I got my, hold on, hold on. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Let it sit for a few. Let's let it sit for a few minutes. Really let it marinate. Let all the, all the flavors get to know one another. Mmm, it's gonna be so good. And, uh, drink responsibly. Cheers. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Love it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.